In a final large ballot drop tonight, Republican Carrie Lake grabbed a majority of the votes, but in the end, not enough to overtake Katie Hobbs. Hobbs' lead shrunk by about 10,000 votes tonight, but she still leads Carrie Lake by over 20,000 votes. That's about 1%, which is a wide enough margin that an automatic recount will likely not be necessary. Hobbs had a 14-point lead on election night, but over the past several days, Lake cut into that lead. Getting it to within one percentage point. This is what Republicans predicted would happen, that votes on Election Day would tighten these races, and they have. But for Lake, it just was not enough. Stephanie Bennett joins us from the Maricopa County Election Headquarters tonight with a breakdown. Steph? Good evening, John and Christina. Yeah, well, election day kind of turned into election week. But as you said, it is now projected that we have a new Arizona governor, and that is going to be Katie Hobbs, the Democrat. Now, it came down to Pima and Maricopa County tonight, who both dropped a huge batch of ballot results. Maricopa County, of course, is the second largest county in the country, just behind L.A. County. So all eyes were waiting for this one. During today's press conference, Maricopa County Board of Supervisors Chairman Bill Gates said to expect a big drop of results, and he was correct. Those results were 72,523 new ballot results, including those dropped off on Election Day, some cured, and some door three ballots. Now, the county has about five to 15,000 left to report, and statewide, that number is less than 20,000 ballots left to count. That means we are at 97% of all of the votes counted in our state. Democrat Katie Hobbs will be leaving her seat as Secretary of State to become the new governor, narrowly beating Republican former news anchor Carrie Lake by 20,481 votes. That number, just too many to make a comeback. Election officials held a press conference earlier today before that ballot drop, saying although the count was delayed this week slightly because of the overwhelming amount of early ballot drop-offs on Election Day, the counting process has been very successful, they say, including their hand count, which they said went very well this weekend. Fantastic work by the folks who came in to do the hand count and absolutely, again, um, established and, and re reiterated the fact that these machines work, um, they're effective, and that they're the best way to count votes. Looking forward to those who have been elected leading the state in the right direction, and hopefully it'll be about collaboration and not division. Yeah, and guys, I want to talk a little bit more about that law that was passed earlier here in Arizona that would make an automatic recount. Now, it made the margin much smaller. It went from one-tenth of one percent to half of one percent. So if a recount was needed in any of these election items, that would mean the recount would happen in December for Maricopa County. Right now, we are over that at 0.8 percent of a difference between Cary Lake and Katie Hobbs. So that would not create an automatic recount. Guys, back to you. Yep, that's exactly right. Steph, thank you. For the two candidates, it marks the official end of a bitter race. But the big question tonight is, will Carrie Lake challenge this result? One thing we do know, Katie Hobbs is acting like it's over. Marissa Sarbach is at the state capitol tonight with more. Marissa. Christina John, as we know, Katie Hobbs has declared victory and presumably will be moving into her new office here at the executive office onto the ninth floor. The former Secretary of State or soon to be former Secretary of State releasing this statement just moments ago and it reads in part, quote, I am honored to have been selected to serve as the next governor of Arizona. I want to thank the voters for entrusting me with this immense responsibility. For the Arizonans who did not vote for me, I will work just as hard for you because even in this this moment of division, I believe there is so much more that connects us. The Hobbs campaign also took to Twitter, posting this photo of the Secretary of State's campaign account, tweeting out the message, quote, democracy is worth the wait. Thank you, Arizona. I am so honored and so proud to be your next governor. Now, her opponent not conceding tonight, instead tweeting out this simple and short message moments ago, quote, Arizonans know BS when they see it. After almost a week of publicly berating the Maricopa County Elections Office about the speed at which the office is processing votes. Now, we went into downtown Phoenix tonight in Maricopa County to get reaction, where, of course, the latest ballot drop came in just hours ago that seemed to secure the race for Katie Hobbs.
Oh, you haven't heard yet? We haven't heard yet. It was called for Katie Hobbs. Oh, thank goodness. Thank God. <laughs> uh, you know, all the votes were counted, and I'm sure Crazy Lake will file lawsuits, and we'll go from there. So you don't think it's over yet? No, I don't think it's over yet. I definitely don't expect her to concede with Grace, because that's not how she's really led her campaign the whole time. But I'm confident in the system to um, bring out the real result. Others in the Republican Party standing with Carrie Lake on social media tonight. Most notably, Secretary of State candidate Mark Fincham, who tweeted out, quote, you're telling me Carrie Lake lost Maricopa? Yeah, right. As you can tell from Lake's tweet, we are not expecting a concession speech either tonight or really, it seems, in the coming days. But we are also not expecting the recount with where the votes sit currently. Reporting outside the state capitol, Marissa Sarbach for Fox 10 News. Marissa, thanks.